So what is polarizability? Polarizability is simply how easy it is to cause a dipole moment. So it's a dipole moment. A dipole moment is how easy you can shift the electrons um, so, they'll, so that one side will have a positive charge and one side will have a negative charge. What's the importance of that? Well, that's how intermolecular forces are created because when you have a slightly partial charge and a slightly negative charge, um, that can create attractions between uh, molecules and helps create intermolecular forces. So I think an illustration will better um, show you this. So, for example, you have a positive nucleus and then electrons on the outside. So the electrons are going to be pulled in by um, this nucleus. Um, and n not much is going to stop it from pulling it in because... Um, is it, uh, the nucleus is strong and there's nothing to protect the electrons. So the freedom of movement is going to be limited because it's going to be like pretty um, it's pr going to be pretty protective of the electrons. Here however when the nucleus tries to pull in the far away electron it's going to have a little bit of difficulty because there's electrons protecting this one. When it tries to pull this one it just it, it can't because it's so far away. Um, it doesn't have as much power to pull this electron in. So these electrons, if there's nothing, if there's, um, if there's only a weak force um, pulling in on it, it can orbit it um, uh, more. It can, it, it's more, it has more freedom. So another, um, another way to think about it is if you have a parent and a kid. So if you have a parent, right? Um, the kid can be a little, the electron, and the parent can be the nucleus, the positive charge. So if the parent's holding on to the kid, or if the kid's really close to the parent, the parent's going to limit the amount of freedom it has. So the the kid can only move so far. Um, so its freedom is limited. Uh, however, if the if there's a lot of space, if the parent's really far away, then the kid has a lot more room to move. Um, uh, he has a lot more freedom to move. So um, how it relates to this is that the more freedom it has, uh, the more the easier the electrons can move and therefore create um, on one side a positive charge and on the other side a negative charge, which helps with intermolecular forces. So higher polarizability equals a larger molecule. That makes sense because for for there to be a lot of space, there has to be a lot of electrons. If there's a lot of electrons, there's a lot of protons and neutrons. And the more protons and neutrons, the more um, the larger the molecule and the larger the molar mass. So a general trend for polarizability is um, the larger the molar mass, the greater the dispersion forces. Because the more um, the more orbits you have, then therefore the electrons, uh, the the force that the nucleus can exert on the electrons decreases. Therefore, um, the electrons have more freedom, the electrons can shift around more, and therefore it can be more polarizable.